Right people, welcome back to the channel. I'm dead excited to sort of uh, show you this uh, microscope setup that I've, uh, I've been waiting to do for a while. Yes, there are hints and tips that I've taken offline. What I have here is a 4K camcorder. Yes, 4K microscope. Yes, okay, 4K camcorder Panasonic. Um, a stand, which was from, I uh, let me show you, it was, it was from this uh, tornado infrared which is now being retired so i'm using the stand make you know utilizing this this is a microscope led light which i was using for the vision engineering but i decided to retire that so that is getting put to use now um and then this bracket is from a tripod um let me show you that from this tripod which is made by what is it called national geographic and it's from here that bit okay so put this back let's put this back here whoops just want to drop in the uh, device let's just make sure that everything is okay that's stable and I have this optical glass which is the plus 10 uh, 49 millimeter close-up macro you can pick them off pick pick these up from Amazon um, but remember the size now the size is actually written in front of, on the face of your camcorder here uh, there it is 49 millimeter right so this is the actual size of the ring and uh, let me take the optic out and I'll show you this is the diameter from there to there the diameter of this where the screw threading goes on and then fits on the face of this basically so let me show you now okay so that's it i don't need to tighten that that's, that's as far as it goes <laughs> okay bit of a dust there get rid of that right i've given it a good clean lens but however saying that i've bought a quality lens made in japan it's on the transit um, these are just this was just 6.99 off Amazon. So what you pay for is what you get. I'm a big big believer of that basically, right? The LED light is obviously Driven by an adapter the camcorder has his own adapter, but at the moment the battery is half charged Obviously the battery will be charged when I'm using it the oh, That bit the tripod has got a screw here, which which actually allows to lock the camcorder in place once it's slotted in here. Okay, so what I've done is I've utilized this screw with a longer one, and I've put a, you can just about see that there's a, there's a nut there with a washer, and there's two washers there just to sort of not to over press and tighten this bracket. So I've actually gone and, and made adjustments so that it's not wiggling. It's not rock solid, but it's not wiggling. Okay, it's pretty, steady actually that so that's that let's put the camcorder on okay so lift it up that's that oh one other thing i forgot to mention right let me take that out and the, the beauty of it is that i can utilize my camcorder as a normal just slot it in and uh, as in one i would use what one to use use it basically this is just absolutely amazing this uh and, and luckily with my uh stand there was a hole there uh, by default because he was holding this uh, this arm this particular ram in place like this basically so that the uh, the the infrared uh, arm pan power handpiece should can go on top of this basically right so like I said the infrared is abandoned now it's not going to get utilized because it's a bag of shit okay right okay where was I now super Lock it in place. Okay, I'm going to take this onto the other side of the bench. Just power this up here, and I can transfer this image onto my uh, 4K monitor, which I will show you very shortly. Now, do please forgive me. The room is an absolute mess. There's a lot of stuff here, absolutely jam-packed, basically. Okay, so the lens been fitted. I'll keep this for reference. Okay, and. Um, I've got to give Amazon thumbs up. Absolutely cracking. You know, the, 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 I have to give thumbs up to the owner 
for doing the, the very clever idea dedicated drivers most of the items are on prime and they get sent next day or the following day you know you just can't beat that you just can't beat that absolutely amazing so i do give him a pause for doing coming up with a very very and no wonder the company's you know becoming growing massively right coming back onto this i will show you the uh, image on the monitor, which is far better than what you can see here. Right, so, let's get rid of uh, these piece of crap. Let me see if I can get a close up image on that uh, See. Okay, and that's that. But as I said, the, the image on the monitor is gonna be far better than this. Uh, on the mon on the camcorder, uh, what I have to do is I have to switch on the night mode so that so that the um, there's a bit of a glare that it gives out. It, it sort of takes that away basically. So that's where that little uh, night mode color, okay. And this is proper 4K viewing basically, right? I can take. Obviously, the camcorder's got his own vote, microphone and everything, um, and it'll do that. And uh, obviously, I can use this. Uh, I've, I've, I've made the mark in here to the best height that it, it, it needs to be. Um, and for me to work and do soldering and everything, that is roughly, let me tell you, let me get a tape measure and roughly tell you what the height of the, uh, the working distance is. Now, obviously, I can increase the working distance. That's, that won't be a problem, that. So you're looking at clearance of about, about 90... Uh, roughly about 90 millimeter which is about nine centimeter now that's pretty pretty damn damn good basically compared to the vision engineering when I put the uh, 10 times or the 15 times on to inspect or uh, say 10 times for the soldering on, on very fine like uh, package package zero zero two zero one and all these part even smaller the smaller ones zero one and so and so forth packages on the iPhones um, I can sometimes struggle to get my soldering tip underneath or the hot air station underneath it so for that reason, I, I think this is just absolutely brilliant, right? Okay, so I will be putting this to use from now. Okay, so let me sort of, uh, I have bought this microscope for 70 quid and whatever it's from Amazon. I was absolutely horrible, horrible. You know, the, the, it's okay for very, very basic use for inspecting and schoolwork and, and studies and all that. But to do something in a field of profession, absolutely not. Okay, look at that. And I'm, I'm hopeful with it. I don't know if you can ca catch this. It's not blurry. Trust me, it's not blurry. Okay, it's the it's, it's the cam uh, it's the phone that's not doing the auto focusing. Let me switch that off and uh, maybe no. Nope. Put the backlight back on. Okay, and maybe I'll just adapt. Adjust the turn the lights off. See what it looks like. No lag. Absolutely no lag. Okay, because that's a camcorder. That okay. Um, power the light back on okay that's that now let's go into the maximum zoom out it's a small hard drive PCB that okay and I shall zoom back in okay now it may struggle to focus so I might have to lift this up a little bit It is an autofocus. So that's why what it's doing what it's doing. But there's no need to sort of go that level of magnification unless just you're doing it for, for inspection purposes. So as you can see that that's clear enough. On the monitor on, on this L C D it's not justifying through the phone. When you look at the actual L C D that's 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 clear enough that okay so I'm going to take it back to the original height I'll probably just zoom out just ever so slight and that will that that's kind of a a, a, a decent sort of a zoom function basically absolutely with no friggin delay lagging all that basically okay so let's look at these small packages 
that's the maximum which is 20 times and of course if you've got better mic uh, camcorders then you, you can probably achieve a lot better than that and I will just just give me a sec somebody's knocking sorry um, is it recording yes it is yeah somebody came and had to attend that basically so by now the camcorder has gone off obviously because it's in a power mode let's turn this back on again and I'll keep it short and simple right just make sure that uh, the night mode is switched back on how many bars I've got two bars that's fine yeah uh, night mode switches off automatically right let me hook this up to the uh, 4k monitor and keep this video short and simple okay so let me set this up and then I'll continue the recording um, right here we go uh, the 4k camcorder sorry the uh, monitors there um, let me sort of let's see what's going on why is it why is it being a such a bit of a pain I've got a lot of stuff around so you'll have to forgive me um, and uh, take me word for it basically so I'm, I'm plugging it in through the HDMI uh, cable that came with the camcorder um, and let's power this on okay and I should get an image <laughs> should do because I have tested this before oh sorry I didn't plug it plug it in properly I hope I've not destroyed anything here we go wow okay so let's put this board underneath look at the clarity on that basically get it off the stand right okay let's go for this look at that clarity on that zoom out zoom in and with it being uh, the camcorder I mean obviously the, the orientation will vary um, on the screen you're okay that's one one flaw with this uh, setup is uh, when I when I pull towards the left, right, it goes right, left, back, up, but it's the opposite on the uh, monitor, which is fine, no big deal. But look at the detail um, uh, of 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 the, the 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 recording itself, absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so I don't know what zoom I was in. That's on the uh, thing. Let me zoom in. Zoom out of this. Yeah, obviously, you, you're expecting some form of distortion because the camcorder is not designed uh, for microscope use. But nonetheless, it's doing an absolute cracking job. I mean, get this auto focus um, and that's on a maximum mag maximum zoom in zoom out and that's when the visibility does sort of increases quite significantly right okay but when you look at the packages that's what you're up against tiny little things on the board that's the visibility uh, on the LCD and that's your full 4k monitor look at the there's, there's no these are i think the zero one one packages them the tiniest one on the center which you get me tweezer it's all cool the orientation i'm not bothered about it as long as the visibility is good um and i believe the smallest packages yeah it's top down but i'm going to check and see if, I, if there is a rotational if I can move the rotation of the uh, tilt the rotation of the camcorder, if not, not to worry. But these are the smaller packages. Look at how detailed and clear they are. So that's as that's the maximum zoom out and zoom in. That is massive. That's 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 the size of my hand. Yep. Okay. So of course you know that's the size of my hand right up against the screen monitor so you get how much zoom that this has done I'll zoom out 
and there you go okay so i think this is just a definite winner absolutely going to love using this particularly when it's got a 4k um recording facility and uh, we'll just take it from there so you know um i will record and uh do a uh, playback on the screen to see what's going on but as far as i'm concerned that this is this is definitely a winner definitely a winner let's zoom out a little bit okay um and let's look at that controller i see absolutely awesome as i said I am going to go for an expensive optic, but only just to see if it eliminates this blue uh, colouring. I can also adjust the uh, back the light function. Let me switch off the light. That's what you get when the light is switched off. Um, yes, there is a little bit of a delay, but this is this is more. There's no blue apart from this cloudy effect basically but remember this is a camcorder this is not a bloody uh, microscope cope, but it's doing a pretty damn job basically so yeah I'm, I'm totally totally satisfied with this setup really gonna enjoy using it so uh, that's that and uh, that's how you make a 4k microscope that's far better than the shit what you're buying amscope wants a camcorder that's 1080p uh just to buy the unit without the lens the cs mount lens and everything you're talking about nearly 450 500 pound so why not put this uh, 4k camcorder to use basically so that's how you make turn a 4k camcorder into a 4k uh microscope right and as i said the viewing working distance is there i can also increase this let's let's uh so the height can go up Okay, that okay so that is a that is a massive uh, that is a massive length let me sort of get the tape measure and I'll give you an idea I was going to pause the video but I thought I'll just do, do a little bit more so with the with the thingy on oh go away with the uh, thing on you still got roughly about 12 and a half centimeters of clearance I can lift that up further by adjusting this knob and lifting it up but I'll just leave it to the height because that's a decent enough height basically so let's turn the light back on Okay, and uh, let's look at the screen at this height. Um, let's look at the screen. Let me zoom in. No good. So let's zoom out. Let's wait for the autofocus to do what it needs to do. Yeah, come on. Come on, autofocus. Suppose I could do with the manual focus, but I'm not going to bother with it. Like if I zoom out, okay, let's, let's, yeah. So I've, I've, having to take it out on the maximum high is, it is not sort of benefiting, but that's, that's, that is quite, quite high that. Okay. So let's stay focused on that. I'm going to drop, I'm going to turn this and drop it down a little bit slowly until I get a clear view that is clear that wow that is just absolutely clear that well clear enough for my my purpose of use basically so yeah definitely um And this is where I had my best marking basically on it. Look at that. 4K camcorder turned into a 4K microscope. That's all. Have a great weekend, guys. Stay well, stay safe. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. Bye for now.